Hello everyone, welcome back. How you been? All right, in the last few classes we were discussing the story of the monkey and the crocodile. Hope all of you remember. In the two parts of the story we were discussing that this monkey and the crocodile was best friends. They are true to each other. And every day this monkey used to pluck this tasty fruits from the branches of the tree and he gave that to the crocodile. And that crocodile every day gave that fruits to his wife too. And every day they spend their time together. They are best friends. They are true to each other. They spent most of the time together. And one day this crocodile was late when he reached his home. Then his wife crocodile scolded him. Where were you? Why you are so much late today? Then this crocodile told about his best friend monkey. Then hearing about the tasty fruit and about that monkey that wife crocodile had a wish that she want to eat the hurt of that monkey. Then she told her husband that I want to eat the hurt of that monkey. You should bring that monkey here next day. But that crocodile was really sad because in the one side it's his best friend and in the other side it's his companion partner. So finally he decided to betray his best friend monkey. Then that crocodile invited the monkey to their house. Then finally they are on the journey. Then when they reach the middle of the river, the crocodile told the monkey that actually you know something, we are going to kill you. My wife told me that she want to eat your heart. So I am going to kill you. Sorry my dear friend. Till here we were discussing. Now get ready all of you. Take page number 33. The last part of the story. The monkey was scared and distressed. Note down the word distressed means sad. Then by hearing this, the monkey was really sad because he considered this crocodile, her, crocodile as his best friend. Then why he is doing like this? He thought like that. But he was sensible and clever like all monkeys. He kept a cool head. Calmly he said, I would do anything for you and your family. You are my only friend. Of After all, what is a monkey's heart compared with the life of a crocodile's wife? But how foolish could you be? Why didn't you tell me before I would have brought my heart along? Then by hearing that, the monkey was really tense. He don't know what to do. Then finally he got an idea. What was that? Yes, he told to the crocodile that I am ready. I am really Pleasure to do anything for you and your family because you are my best friend. You are my companion. So I am ready to do anything for you. But why don't you tell me this before? Why don't you tell me all these things before? Actually, I am really pleasure. I am really happy to give your wife my heart. But why didn't you tell me this before? Because I kept my heart on that tree. But what is your heart? Asked the crocodile innocently. I thought you carried it all the time. Then the monkey also told to the crocodile that. Actually now I don't have my heart with me. I don't carry my heart all the time. Then that crocodile replied. Oh then what is your heart? Where you kept that? Of course not. It's there on the tree. Let's swim back at once and get it you. Your wife must be waiting, replied the monkey, gaining confidence. By gaining confidence, the monkey replied to the crocodile that, Come, let's go back to that river bank again. Actually, my heart was in that tree. I kept there. I don't know this thing. Otherwise, I could take that heart. Then that monkey told the crocodile that, There is one only one idea. Let's go back to that place and we can take that heart and let's go to your house. Then, oh dear, what a mistake. He is the, the crocodile. He is the main sound produced by this crocodile. Okay, they laughed loudly as the crocodile took a full turn to reach the tree. Then that crocodile told the monkey that, oh dear, you forgot that. Okay, no problem. Let's go back to that place. Then they started back. Then they returned to that place, that bank of the river. Turn the page, page number 24. On the river bank, the monkey jumped down to the tree and heaved a deep sigh of relief. Heaved, heaved means breathe. When that crocodile and monkey reached that river bank, that monkey was like, oh my God, 
he would he took a deep breath of relief then he plucked a fruit or two from the nearest branch and throwing them down said let your wife have some fruits rather than my heart then when both of them reached the river bank suddenly that monkey go into the tree and he, then he plucked some of the good fruits from the tree and he gave that to the crocodile then the monkey told that let your wife eat this fruits instead of my heart then fresh fruits are good for mind and body good bye friend and if you don't mind we won't meet again then the monkey also told the crocodile that we should never meet again i don't want to see you any more because you are trying to cheat me you cheated on me and tell your wife this fruits are good for positive mind and i don't want to see you any more good bye friend told the monkey and the crocodile said and voice shed a few tears which were genuine and turned back to go home he was in a hurry to tell his wife a thing or two then at that particular time the crocodile understand his foolishness at that time the crocodile came to know that oh i am fooled by this monkey and this monkey was really wise and the crocodile was hurry bury to reach his home and he want to tell his wife something so here the story ends and this story was adapted from panchatantra this story was one of the story from panchatantra okay and students can you say what is the moral this story conveying us can you say can you say what is the moral yes never cheat our friends that is the moral this story is conveying hope this is clear bye